Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video we're making a bean planter from recycled wood. I started out with two and a half planks of what looks like scaffolding board which formed the two long sides and then the half plank was sawn in half again to form the two end points. I then formed four little columns of one and a half by one and a half inch batten that I had lying around which um, gave me something to screw into to form those four bits of plank into a box. I then got some pieces from the pallet that were 11 and a half inches to go across the bottom there. There were only two um, at the beginning at this point, which I then attached this other plank to just to give me something to reinforce these um, pieces of pallet that were going to grow across the bottom of the box. And this is to support the base of the plastic line I made from recycled compost bags. My neighbour Ted and I then cut many more pieces of 11 inch wood from the pallets which we then spaced out and attached to the bottom here. The gaps in between being left to allow space for drainage holes to allow the water to escape from the bottom of the planter. Next we made the actual trellis frame which was made from bits of a door frame from Ted's bungalow that he'd taken apart um, and these basically formed the uprights. So these weren't actually squared off, they were all a bit bendy and wobbly but we made do with what wood we could find for free. Uh, and re repurpose in this way. So first we um, squared them off as, as best we could and attached the trellis using staples which are sort of large double-ended um, nails that have been turned into a, a round like a staple which you then hit in with a hammer. Then we drilled holes in the uprights that were going to be attached to the box itself using some bricks to hold the trellis up so that we could get the holes to go down, down square. Um, and we wanted to put a couple of screws into each of these uprights to make sure that they were secured at multiple places to give it some, some really good strength. Then you can see here Ted is attaching the cross beam across the top which um, again was a piece of scrap wood that he had lying around um, and this just holds all four of the uprights in place as well so the same um, that they're attached across the bottom having them attached across the top means that that trellis doesn't wobble from left to right and it gives it a lot of stability. We then flipped everything back upright and stood it up on a couple of bricks to keep the bottom of the wood away from the ground and away from the standing water that will drain out from underneath. This is to again protect the wood. Next we protect the wood on the inside by creating a plastic liner. So what I've got here are some compost bags left over from projects that I've done over the last two years which I have saved and I have cut them up with a pair of scissors to make flat sheet plastic which I can then use for projects like this. Um, so you can see here I'm using my staple gun, folding down the edges of the plastic, forming it into a liner for the box here and staple gunning it into place in, directly into the wood. So once I have covered the entire thing I will make some drainage holes which go through to the gaps between the pallet wood at the bottom straight through the drainage holes. This means that we're keeping as much water as possible away from the wood. So we've got um, as little standing water in contact with wood as possible. This will keep the wood um, from rotting for a lot longer. One of the benefits of using sheet material harvested from grow bags is that grow bags are designed to have consumables grown directly in them so you know that the plastic used is food grade. Now we start filling up our trough with compost to directly sow into and we want to leave a lip for water to pull in around the outside. Next I planted up my peas which are going to grow directly up the trellis so these are going to be trained through the trellis so that they will grow up there. And then next I plant my French beans which are going to grow on stakes in the main body of the planter. These plants don't grow as tall as the peas so they should be able to still let light through to the peas behind them. So there you have it, a pea and bean planter made entirely from scrap wood.